ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு கேஎல்ஏ சொசைட்டிஸ் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் எஜுகேஷன் அங்கோலா ஐ எம் சைத்ரா நாகேஷ் ஷெட்டி பிஎட் ஃபஸ்ட் இயர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் டீச்சர் ஸோ டுடே லெட் இஸ் ஸ்டடி அபவுட் செல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் அண்ட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ விச் இஸ் த இலெவன்த் சாப்டர் ஆஃப் சயின்ஸ் சப்ஜெக்ட் ஃப்ரம் எயிட் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் டெஸ்ட் புக் ஆஸ் வி ஆல் நோ தட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் செட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆர்கன்ஸ் இன் அவர் பாடி பர்ஃபார்ம் த வேரியஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் In this chapter, we shall learn about the basic structural unit of an organ, which is cell. Yes, cell may be compared to bricks because bricks are assembled to make a building. Similarly, cells are assembled to make the body of every organism. Firstly, let us study few history aspects that is, cell was firstly discovered by Robert Hooke in the year 1665. by observing slice of cork under the microscope and a cork is nothing but a bark of a tree as i said cells are similar to bricks the building though built of similar bricks have different design shape and size similarly in living world organism differ from one another but all are made up of cells and cell in living organisms are complex living structure unlike non living bricks let move on to the topic the organism shows varieties in cell number cell shape and cell size firstly let us discuss about varieties in cell number here the first one is multicellular organisms the organisms which is made up of more than one cells are called multicellular organisms for this best example is human because human body is made up of trillions of cells and the second one is the unicellular organisms the organisms made up of single cell are called unicellular or single celled organisms the best example is amoeba which is made up of single cell similarities in between unicellular and multicellular organisms are unicellular organisms can perform all the necessary function which is performed by multicellular organisms the necessary functions includes capture and digest the food respire excretes growth and reproduce next let us discuss about variation in the shape of the cells though human body is made up of many cells but all the cells are not identical in a shape for example nerve cells of human is long and branched and the muscle cells are spindle spindle is nothing but long and pointed at two ends so here we can observe the variations and the single celled organisms like amoeba and the white blood cells of human blood can change its shape also can you guess which part of the cell give it the shape yes component of cell membrane provides shape to the cells of plant and animals next let we discuss about variations in the size of the cell the size of the cells in living organisms may be as small as micrometer or may be large as few centimeter the smallest cell is 0.1 to 0.5 micrometer in bacterium the largest cell measuring 170 mm into 130 mm is a egg cell of an ostrich most of the cells are microscopic in size and not visible to unaided eye and another important note in the size of the cells has no relation with the size of the body of animal or an plant till now we study the first part of the chapter that is cell structure and now let we discuss about the functions of the cells that is the next part of the chapter so different part of the cell perform different functions the first is cell membrane the basic component of a cell and the cytoplasm and the nucleus enclosed with the cell membrane and it is also called plasma membrane the membrane separate cell from one another and also the cell from surrounding medium the plasma membrane is porous and allow the movement of substances both inward and outward and these are the main functions of cell membrane and next one is cell wall cell wall is additional layer surrounding the cell membrane is required by plant for protection plant cell need protection against variation in temperature high wind speed atmospheric nature etc 
and important note cell wall is only present in a plant cell and it was absent in a animal cell except the bacteria cell next cytoplasm cytoplasm is a jelly like substances present between the cell membrane and the nucleus various organelles are present such as mitochondria golgi bodies ribosomes etc are present in cytoplasm and the next one is nucleus nucleus is generally spherical and located in the center of the cell nucleus is separated from the cytoplasm by a membrane called nuclear membrane small spherical body in nucleus is called as nucleolus nucleus contain thread like structure called chromosomes this carry genes and helps transfer of characters from parents to offspring next while observing the onion cell under the microscope we can notice a blank looking structures is called vacuole larger vacuoles are common in plant cell smaller vacuoles are common in animal cell and the functions of vacuoles are storage and disposal of various substances and lastly plastid it is a small colored body in cytoplasm of the leaf cell they contain some pigments called chlorophyll green colored plastids are called chloroplast they provide green color to plants and essential for photosynthetic process also the next part of the chapter is comparison between plant cell and animal cell plant cells usually they are larger than animal cell and animal cell usually smaller than plant cell cell wall plasmodesmata chloroplast are present in plant cell and cell wall plasmodesmata chloroplast was absent in animal cell vacuoles are large and permanent in the case of plant cell vacuoles are small and temporary in the case of animal cell tonoplast present around the vacuole in plant cell and tonoplast was completely absent in animal cell centrioles are absent except the motile cells of lower plants in the case of plant cell and centrioles are present in the case of animal cell nucleus present along the periphery of the cell in the case of plant cell and here the lysosomes are rare in the case of animal cell nucleus at the center of the cell and the lysosomes are present The storage material in the plant cell is starch grains the storage material in the animal cell is glycogen granules lastly a small part which is left in the chapter that is tissue tissue is a group of cells that have similar structure and that function together as a unit a non living material called the intracellular matrix fills the space between the cells this may be abundant in some tissue and minimal in others or tissue in a biology is defined as a group of cells that possess a similar structure and perform a specific functions the general function of the tissue is tissue provides shape to the body and help body to conserve heat and store energy thank you for watching please like share and comment